morning everybody, Matt here on the planet. Here we are at the Edinburgh Marathon, the half marathon. Half marathon starts at 8 o'clock, which is about 15 minutes for us. Um, they got it wrong last year, they got it wrong this year. The queues for the toilets are absolutely massive. And there's, there's like a handful of toilets. It's a half marathon and a half marathon event, similar to size as the Manchester one. Um, but there's the organisation for the for the things like that. It's uh, not so good. Other than that, it's a great event, like or it was last year. So um, yeah, we're starting in the red section. So uh, today we're going to go for one hour and 30 minutes. Um, my PR is one hour 32 and eight seconds. So uh, we should be quite close to doing that today. Obviously the first half of this, or the first third of this, is downhill, so we'll try and go faster at the start. Um, hold on at the end, as quick as we can. So, excuse me, thank you. So, uh, yeah, going to give it our best. Um, I'm not running in the red pullover today. I'm just wearing this to keep warm because it's a bit chilly. There's the green section. And then we're, we're in the red section, so that's a little bit further up. So look at this. Loads of people. Nothing special today. We're going to be running with the uh, with the Martin Gels, which is these. And uh, I'll take them through the race. Probably about, probably about 8k, 14k, 17k. And Really busy, really busy. So in the in the red section, that's us. So if you haven't noticed, the start is totally different than it was last year. It's at the uh, place called Potter Row. That's the start line. You've got you've got the red banners and you've got the yellow banners. So which which, which is the red zone and which is the yellow zone? Yeah, so we are five kilometers in now. Uh, average pace, 413 minutes per kilometer. And uh, the first 2k were way slower than what I expected because the, uh, there's just loads of traffic. We changed the route. And uh, uh, yeah, so 5k, 413, not bad, let's go.
10 kilometers in, my pace 416 in kilometer. So, this this kind of zone I wanted to be at four or five, but it's uh, didn't make the most out down as much as I should have done. But the energy is good, but it's not brilliant if that makes sense. Uh, so, kind of halfway there, so let's just crack on and see what we get. Twenty minutes from Florida. We are uh, sixteen kilometers as well. It's gone. It's not going to be some nighty today. Just drilling along at four thirty pace now. Uh, nothing left. Thought to be something going over the start. Shall we finish line? But, but uh, I'm enjoying it. It's a little good race. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. Coming up to 21k, almost there. Quite a lot of support now. Well done, Matthew! Woo! Come on, James. You've got it. Come on, James. You've got it. Keep going. Keep going. Well done, James. So, 135, 17 on the clock. My watch said 134, 17, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was a good run. Didn't have it today. Lost four minutes somewhere. <coughs> but I enjoyed it, that was great. <sighs> Conditions were great, it was overcast. There was a little bit of sun at the start, say, for the first 10k. Uh, but that pretty much turned into overcast, like there is now. That was fantastic. Uh, the strategy before was to run 4 or 5 in the first 10k and I come out of that and it was almost 4.15 and then that was going to let me slow down a little bit. To be honest, I haven't felt brilliant since Manchester. I felt good but I haven't felt good. I had that gated race four weeks ago and uh, 
fitness hasn't been there and I'm honest I probably put a few pounds back on a few kilos after after Manchester so that wouldn't have helped either but I've got no complaints that was a great race as they all are it's something to learn on uh, time to go in the medal congratulations brilliant you've done great well thank done thank you very much thanks yeah, well right. done. thanks a lot thank you well thank you Got a box of the t-shirt in. It was over in no time actually, to be fair. Yeah, great, thank you. Thank you. So we got some oat biscuits and some zero electrolytes. Very flavour, so they're actually my favourite, so I like those. Yes, right, well done. Done. Well done. Go Italy! I'll go eat from Italy. <laughs> yeah, oh, from fantastic. Turin. Right. What about you? Uh, yeah. From the UK, yeah, okay. from Newcastle, so uh, not from Blumway. How was it? Yeah, good. I mean, I was going for sub 90, you got 134 or something, so okay. how about yourself? Okay, 1.29 actually. Oh, you got some first time? Is that for you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. I actually, I got a big pain, I was falling from skiing. Oh, right. When was it? My March. <laughs> yeah. So I subscribed right. for the green line, I went for 150. Yeah, oh, but then. Uh, yeah, it was nice. Well, good, my trip. Uh, okay, bye bye. See you later. Yeah, I was up at half past two this morning, so driving up, maybe that wasn't the best decision, so otherwise I could, could have woken up about six o'clock or something like that, but that's uh, it, is what it is. Um, I've, it's definitely not as tough as a marathon over there. I was going through that at 19 kilometers, just thinking to myself, I'm glad I don't have to run the full distance here. But, uh, like full marathon distance, like we did last year, but uh, that was great, really enjoyed it. And uh, so we'll be putting out on the channel, um, obviously this race video, which you'll be watching now, and then after that, we'll be putting out uh, the full route, um, again for the half, so if anybody's interested in that, and the first two kilometers is different really to what it was um, last year. So this is gonna be a one-off course, but anyway, it was good. Thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.